What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy this uh, series I'm doing right now. Um, intermixed with normal videos, but i uh, got a series on my uh, long-term review on Void Linux. Um, I was an Arch user for quite some time. Uh, I decided to get my tester laptop up and running with Void and loved it so much I switched. So that being said, I just wanted to do a quick video here today and highlight one of the things I really like about Void. And that would be the package management system. Um, XBPS is spectacular. Um, whether it is better than Pac-Man in terms of scope and speed and all that is yet to be determined. Um, I haven't been in Void long enough and worked with it long enough to do a lot of comparison. It is fast. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was faster than Pac-Man. Um, but it is slightly different than Pac-Man. So this video just is gonna kind of highlight the difference uh, between, uh, say, Pac-Man and XPPS. That being said, if we open a terminal here, let's uh, zoom in, clear the screen. Um, a lot of times when you're running a system and you want to uh, get some information on a command or whatever else, you look for a man page. So if you were in Arch, say, and you wanted to check out Pac-Man, you do man, Pac-Man correct? Well, that being said, if you try to do that with XPPS, so XPPS, you're going to get no manual entry. That's not because there isn't one. That's because it's broken up differently than Pac-Man. If we do a man XBPS dash install, which is the command to install things, you know, like Pac-Man, you have sudo Pac-Man dash S um, to install something. Um, XBPS is XBPS-install. Similar to, say, apt, where you're doing sudo apt install or sudo apt get install. Um, XBPS is going to be sudo XBPS-install. You can have the S flag and then run the package you're looking for. But if we do man XBPS-install, we get a man page specifically for the install command, which is awesome. If we quit out of that and we do... Uh, let's say query we're gonna get a man page specifically for the query function if we quit out of that and we do remove can't type today uh, we're gonna get it for just remove you kinda see where I'm going with this it's all broken up um, it's not one big program that you have to remember a whole bunch of different flags on um, there are flags for each command but this is one thing I really like about XBPS and I've read online in numerous places that this is something people see as a downside. It's not one command with flags after it. For me, that's awesome. I love it. I love the fact that if I remember XBPS install, I can remember XBPS remove, I can remember XBPS query. I can remember that, for me, personally, easier than remembering sudo pacman qe you know, package to look for the package. Or, okay, what was the flags for looking up... Uh, or for install uh, SYU or you know there's just there was so many flags to remember and there's a lot of flags with XBPS too but the main function the main commands are just simple XBPS remove XBPS query when you want to find a package XBPS install it's just super easy and I'm really liking it I am really getting down and dirty with uh, with this XBPS package manager that being said yeah, type in sudo xbps-install-s if you want to update and all that. It, it, there's just a lot to type. So, you know, if you're the type of person that wants to run a uh, alias for that, by all means, you might want to if you don't like to type that much. I, for most package management uh, commands, I like to use the command au natural because I tend to forget commands if I run aliases for too long. Um, that being said, if you remember my last video, we actually created a script in my, well, I actually moved it to local scripts. We created the um, this script here for the uh, void source packages. Short little script because basically whenever you want to install from the uh, void source packages, um, I'm gonna put a link to that video my last video in the uh, description here um, and I'll have a little card up in the top corner but basically the void source packages is real similar to like the AUR uh, there's stuff in there that's not in the main repository um, so if you're doing an XBPS install 
uh, say NC MPCPP, for example, and it says it's not found in the repository, you can do the uh, void source packages or uh, yeah, source packages in. Uh, it's in there so you can find it but when you do that there's a lot of stuff you got to do for example you have to create a directory and then you have to get clone the source packages off of the void Linux slash void packages you get clone that repository and then you got to run a binary bootstrap uh, once you got the binary bootstrap done then when you want to look for something you type in the dot slash xbps-source and then the package name it'll look for the package name so basically you would be doing like a dot slash xbps uh, source image magic um, you'd run that it would look for the package it would uh, run the template that is in the source packages directory and it would build it all and then once it was done doing that you would just run your uh, sudo xbps dash install dash dash repository hoster bind packages and then whatever package it was so that being said I broke that all down because that's that's a lot to do to install one package um, but that being said that source packages repo is still amazing um, if you want I can go through a more in-depth uh, video on how to install that and get it up and going and uh, get it set up on your system. Um, I will do that in my next video actually. Um, like, like I said today, it's just a quick video touching on what, what I like, uh, one of the things I like about uh, Void and that's its package management system. XBPS is a great system, it's fast. Um, it's just been really impressive to me so far. So that being said, um, I hope you find this video uh, helpful. Um, if you're switching to Void, um, I've got more to come, so uh, just be prepared. I'm gonna do some setup video and uh, I'm gonna do a video on how to get, um, um, I can't think right now, uh, services, excuse me. <laughs> My brain's dead. Uh, how to get services up and running with Runit. It's really simple. Um, I have less trouble with this than I ever did on System D. Um, so it's just great. That being said, again, uh, thanks for checking it out. Um, I hope you find this video helpful. And stay tuned because I got more coming on Void because, man, it is just an amazing distribution. Thanks and God bless.